Tonight, Pauley's Island Town Council voted to increase the golf cart fee for residents there from $10 to $25. And before the vote, residents had plenty of questions oh, yeah. about the reason behind the increase. Our Eric Richards was at that meeting tonight. He joins us from the control room. So, Eric, what did you find out today? Well, the reason for the increase simply comes down to workload in that the city administrators have extra duties aside from issuing those per permits, which can be taxing at times. Well, we've got two administrative employees that are, that are balancing a significant workload, I would say, more so than it has been in the past, especially with building permits. So, and, and enforcement, excuse me, enforcement, we've got law enforcement officers that are out on the streets every day. Tonight, Town Council voted unanimously to increase the golf cart permit fee from $10 to $25 effective immediately. Cards with no decals. We, what, we did issue a significant amount of summonses last year, parking summonses for uh, vehicles and no decals. Um, if we do find one that's unoccupied and parked um, illegally, um, we put a boot on it. Before the vote, residents were able to give their opinions on the increase. I can't understand, I can't understand why you want more money, but there's other ways of going about it probably. You get charged for kind of spotting in here, coming from out of town. Um, you could, uh, charge less if it's done online or in person. If we are doing this to generate revenue, we're missing the big picture. Um, and it, you know, you, you could be generating a lot more revenue by people coming and going off this island on a regular basis. I have no problem paying golf car fee, but my question is, my understanding was the golf car fee was for golf cars that were driven by the owners. And I believe there's many golf carts that are around that drive down here, park at the beach, that are not driven by the owners. In addition to current rules, maybe come up with best practices for users, especially the renters and rentals, and publish and share them. Moving forward with the new fee, all golf carts belonging to individuals within a two mile radius of Polly's Island must obtain a permit. If we see somebody coming in, for, you know, for the week, and they have a golf cart on the back of their car, we try and, you know, we'll follow them down and we'll say, just, you know, we don't want to you get in trouble. Might want to just park the golf cart and yeah. take it out with you next Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All laughs there. Now, uh, as mentioned, those permits are effective tomorrow, so owners need to head down to the town, uh, town administrator's office to get those permits. Again, beginning tomorrow. The good news is, is that this is only once a year. Only once a year. Live at the control room, Eric Richards, WMBF News.